All right, uh, welcome back. You're still watching Money Live. There is a beautiful shot of the place we're coming to you live from. It's called the Living Heritage Moment. If you come and visit this place, you'll actually get to understand what happened back on this day in 1956. It's got the stories, uh, as as uh, MEC was saying earlier on, that they're telling the stories of, of, of the day. Well, like I said just before the break, that today we continue to celebrate the lives of extraordinary women. And one of those is Ntabele Ndikotsi. Ntabele Ndikotsi is the chairperson of the Young Business Women Network. It is a women-owned organization that is based in Johannesburg. And Tabeling with a group of other young women, they actually started an investment company using the model yes, stock fell, like you would know your, your, your ordinary stock fell. But little did they know that this was paving way for a cooperative back. And Tabeling joins us this morning on this Women's Day. Good morning to you, Tabeling, and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Valisa. Thank you very much for inviting me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you this morning on this historic day, I must say, in Tabelek. Talk to us as to how it all started. It all started when we drew really inspiration from the woman that marched to the union building in 1956. And I was asking myself in 2009 that what does it mean for me to be a young black woman in South Africa? And what other opportunities are there and how can we access them, not just as an individual, but as a collective, as we know that the women back then, they worked together as a group. So we decided then, you know what, Stockfiles back then, they made 44 billion. And that's, how, that's what we found out when we did our research. And we said Stockfile is something that is known in the black communities and something that we really understand. So how about we use that and modernize it and modernize it, modi- Nazareth, yes, and make it something that we can use in this day and age. So we started saving money, a thousand rand, in 2011, and then we invested uh, in a company called Ninati together with other investors in a company called Namlock. Uh, four years down the line, in today's age, we're talking about the first woman-led cooperative bank, which we basically use the very same model as the stock files. So what we're doing is that we said, okay, we're going to use the very same model. We're going to save a thousand rand every month for a period of five years. And then from that money, we're going to loan out for enterprise funding because we are, in, we are entrepreneurs, we are in business. And we realize that a lot of women can't get access to funding. And it's not just women. Yes, we do talk about men as well. So we said, let us use that model and start uh, using it for enterprise funding. All right, uh, and Tabeling, I think we'll invite you some other day because that's where we're going to have to leave it this morning. But thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Faris. And for everybody who wants to join us, they can email us at info at ywbn.co.za. All right, no, there you, there you have it. That's uh, Ntabele Ndikozi, the chairperson of the Young Business Women Network, talking to us about uh, the cooperative ga- bank that they started five years ago. Well, it's all about uh, Women's Day today, and 60 years ago, about 20,000 women, you do know that they marched to the union buildings here in Pretoria. And this morning, we uh, joined by the president of the ANC Women's League, Batabile Dlamini.